For us to see the world around us, light enters the front of the eye and passes through the vitreous before it's focused on the retina. The vitreous is the clear, gel-like fluid inside of the eye. The retina is the light-sensitive tissue lining the back of the eye. Frequently, tiny clumps of cells form inside the gel-like vitreous. The shadows these clumps cast on the retina are what we perceive as floaters. They can appear as dots, circles, lines, clouds, or cobwebs in the field of vision. Floaters are more common as we reach middle age, a time in our life when the vitreous gel can start to thicken and shrink, forming clumps or strands. Sometimes the shrinking of the vitreous can create tiny tears in the retina as it pulls away from the wall of the eye. If these tears bleed, new floaters may appear. With flashes, the vitreous gel is rubbing or pulling at the retina, moving it slightly from its normal position lining the back of the eye. Flashes are flashes of light that appear in your vision intermittently and may be noticeable off and on for several weeks to months. Trauma to the eye can often cause floaters and flashes. Also, migraine headaches can cause flashes. Floaters and flashes can also be caused by retinal detachment, a serious condition requiring immediate attention. Warning signs of a retinal detachment are flashing lights, a sudden appearance of new floaters, shadows in the side or periphery of your vision, or a gray curtain moving across your field of vision. These symptoms don't always mean you're experiencing a retinal detachment, but you should see your ophthalmologist right away.